Okay, Mike, next we're going to look at the slide, the C360i series fusing section. We're going to look at some of the components that are inside the unit, some that you're very familiar with over the years you've had servicing this type of equipment. But we're still going to review because there's some need to know information that you'll have to have. Uh, one of them is that this unit is 600K. So it's going to last a long time, but within that 600,000, there's a lot that could happen. They run the wrong media through it. Something happens electrically. So there may be some times where we might have to repair this unit or, or exchange it. So we're going to look at pressure roller. We're going to see it has three separated claws inside it. It's got a fusing pad for cleaning. Pressure home sensor to monitor where that retraction is. Uh, fusing heat lamp. Heat roller. The lamp runs through the heating roller. And then we come into a series of uh, safety and monitoring for heat. So we have two thermistors for monitoring and then we have some temperature sen a temperature sensor and two thermostats for that monitoring for safety uh, because this does get very hot. Do you have any questions about any of that for right now? So can any of those parts be replaced individually or do you just replace the whole unit itself? Okay, great question. On this series we have the whole unit and this is a unit here that I've got out for you. Um, the whole unit comes out as a, as a whole piece if you have a trouble with a thermistor or if you have a fusing claw break off, something of that nature. There's a nick in the belt uh, that's giving you some copy quality issues down the page. So this unit will come out as a whole, you replace it as a whole with those. On the unit you can see you have some safety precaution stickers. Temperature, very hot, 400 degrees, uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very hot. Uh, we want to use the safety precautions that are in the manual when we remove this. And some of those are, you know, make sure the machine is powered down, it's unplugged, and this unit is cooled off before you attempt to, to pull it out. So we want to follow those procedures. Um, in this unit, we talked about, it has the two thermistors in here. And I'm going to give you some nice-to-know information about them. How a thermistor works. It works on a, a principle called negative temperature coefficient. So what that means is, as the temperature rises, resistance drops. So that's how the machine monitors the temperature of the machine. As you can see, you can see all these components that are in that fusing section. There's not one that says a temperature gauge or whatnot. There's nothing that measures degrees what it's doing, it's measuring resistance. And I'll show you this. I've got a thermistor here. I've got the two leads running to the meter, which is on ohms. So right now at this state, you can see the resistance. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to simulate the roller warming up. So I'm going to warm my finger up a little bit. And I'm going to apply it to the thermistor. And you'll see what happens. You'll see resistance is dropping. And that's how the machine correlates temperature. It's looking at resistance and converting it to say, okay, I am at this temperature now. I've reached a particular temperature. Turn off the lamp. Resistance goes up to a certain point. It gets a little too cold, and then the heat lamp will come back on because the resistance. So it's monitoring resistance. That's that never ne negative temperature coefficient. Is that something you need to know? Is that something you're going to troubleshoot in the field? No. But it's nice to know. You know, over the years, working on this equipment, it's nice to know how some of these components relate logically to the machine. So I think that might be a, a, a good thing. Do you have any questions about anything like that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, very good. Well, it looks like it's about time for our first break, so let's break, Mike.